Hey guys, so today I was thinking about something and I wanted to share it with you. It's basically how do we have enough time to do everything we want, right? And the answer is we don't have enough time to do everything we want, but we have enough time to do what's really important to us, right? And so I was thinking about this because you know, with like all the work that's involved in developing a business, plus having a full-time job, plus, you know, raising kids, all that whole spiel is a lot of work, right? And it's the season of, I always say this, it's like a crazy season for me because I have the pumpkin carving, then there's Halloween, and then Tegan's birthday is like right around the corner, then Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's like crazy until January. And on top of this, I'm really trying to like hone in and launch big things in my side business to kind of push that forward. So Halloween's coming up. And for those that don't remember or wasn't weren't following me, I like love creating things, right? And I'm very into like, I want to be the mom to like make custom Halloween costumes because I love creating. And I made this like crazy thing for Tegan one year, the owl costume where honestly it took me at least a week at like all hours just sewing on the machine. It was like super detailed. And one, I loved to, I loved doing it, but two, it was like exhausting because it took up so much of my time. So this year in my mind, I was like, well, you know, I need to do something. I need, I want to, I want to create something unique and, you know, all that stuff. And I asked Tegan, like, what does she want to be for Halloween? And first she's like a unicorn. And she was a unicorn last year. She's like, I want to wear the same exact thing last year. And I was kind of like, ah, Tegan, you know, I don't know. Like, don't you want to be something different? We can make you something really cool. And she's like, no, I want to be a unicorn. And then she, and then she flipped to like, I want to be Sky, which she already has a costume because a, a friend gave her a costume, like one of these just store bought Sky costumes from Paw Patrol. And I was just like, oh, like, I was like, oh my God, a Starbucks crowd. And I was like, and then for like a day, I was kind of like trying to convince her so I can like make something cool. And then I thought about, I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? Like, what purpose does this serve, right? Like she wants, she doesn't want it. And it's mainly like for me, the need that I feel like I need to create something like original for her but she doesn't even want it and then on the flip side it's also taking it will take away so much time from things that I need to get done you know in my businesses plus time taken away from spending time with them and added stress and then the whole thing with it's like Lee too like you know Lee's too young to know what he wants but I was like but then Lee I have to do something for Lee and then I was just like, finally just let it go. I was like, okay, I gotta let it go. I can't do everything. And the fact is she doesn't even want it. And Lee's so young that he's just going to be like, oh, no, I don't know. So <laughs> it's about letting go of certain tasks and prioritizing and saying no to things. For me, saying no to making like two custom costumes do-it-yourself things yes I would love to do it I'd love to document it but one they don't want it two it will save me so much time so I can focus on important like things that will actually like push me ahead that will allow me to have more time with them in the long run and honestly like they're gonna be happier or they're gonna be happy and not know any difference and I'll probably be happy because otherwise I'd be up until like 5 a.m. before all the Halloween things like stressing about these costumes. So it saves me too. So I was like, okay, Tegan, I haven't even like, she hasn't even decided yet. I'm just letting her go because I was like, we have all this stuff already. So she's either going to be a unicorn or a sky. Maybe at the last minute we'll change it. And Lee, <laughs> Lee, I'm putting in the owl costume that I worked so hard on for Tegan because he's he's around the same age now and I'm like I am getting two uses out of this thing and I also think this would be pretty adorable as an owl and he's already going around saying owl owl so anyway the lesson to be learned here is you don't have to do everything 
And sometimes doing everything isn't actually a good thing because think of all the things that you're sacrificing. And for me, for example, the biggest thing was like, she doesn't even want it. Like they don't want it. It was more for me. So I have to be like, okay, <laughs> let's get real here. And yeah, so maybe think of something in your life that it's like, you're essentially just doing it for yourself. But in the greater scheme of things, you actually shouldn't be doing it because it's hurting other aspects of your ultimate like goals of something bigger and better. Ah, that's it. So stay tuned for, I don't know, Owl. Well, Lee's going to be Owl. Tegan will be whatever she decides to be. It's also giving them the agency to like, decide their own thing too. Anyway. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And pink turns into yogurt. And brown turns into a horse. And they all had fun and brown and black was not a threat. Your teeth didn't turn into anything since he doesn't have this on his face. And he was curious. And he also had white that doesn't have this. And also it was gray too. But all the 